Uh, I saw this video. Now, if you don't know who this is, this is a per- – because I didn't know who it was. But this is uh, Christine Anderson. Now, Christine Margaret Anderson, uh, she's a German politician who has served as a member of the European Parliament since 2019. Uh, she's a member of the Alternative for Germany. And Anderson has been described as a supporter of the Pegida movement. Now, Pegida – Okay, for those of you that don't know, Pegida is the patriotic Europeans against the Islamization of the West. Uh, So she's a little extreme, but, uh, I mean, is that extreme? It depends. She's definitely ultra-conservative, ultra-borders in Germany. But what she had to say, I think, is uh, 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 something that we should take heed to. Okay, so let's start off by listening to this speech. It's an edited speech of hers. I've listened to the whole thing. The whole thing is like about 13 minutes long. We don't have time for that. But take a little listen to what Christine Anderson has to say. Take it to heart and listen to the words that she's saying. Okay, here you go. If you've never heard of her, you're going to hear of her now. Here we go. I'm really imploring the people and all the peoples around the world, for God's sake, Stop giving your democratically elected governments the benefit of the doubt. They are not deserving of that. They are not. Stop rationalizing whatever your government is doing. Try Stop rationalizing and come up with some good intentions. They have no good intentions. Never. As I said before, in the entire history of mankind, there has never been a political elite concerned about the well-being of regular people. And it isn't any different now. Why should it stop giving them the benefit of the doubt? Because I can tell you, you cannot comply your way out of a tyranny. It is impossible. Trying to do so you will only feed a gigantic alligator in the hopes of being eaten last. But guess what? Your turn will come, and then you will be the one swallowed up. I also have to ask the people, end your silence. Speak up. For God's sake, stop complying. Start rebelling. They're out to get you if you do not resist. I would also urge you to stop voting for those who inflict this psychological abuse on you, who mock you for their own good. In order to deal with this unfree world, to defy this unfree world, I have decided to become so absolutely free that my very existence is an act of rebellion. Boom. We all need to do. Boom, 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 boom. I have decided to become so free that my very existence is an act of rebellion. Now, how does that not compare with the United States, where if you truly act as if you are a 100% free individual, you are in an act of rebellion against the United States? It's sad that we've come to this point in this country, but it is true.